this all together and it's gonna be wonderful. Hey guys, uh, we are doing a little bit of a different kind of video today. Um, I'm just at my parents' house who we installed a pond for two or three years ago now and it's still running throughout the winter which is definitely able to do um, and I just wanted to show you guys what that kind of looks like in the winter season. Um, so yeah, let me uh, turn you around and I will show you how everything works here. So as you can see, it's just tucked in this nice little corner here beside the deck here in the back of the house. Um, super cool for interacting. We got this little, the deck kind of overhangs there. You might notice a couple things right away. We have an aerator right there keeping a hole in the ice. And also the waterfall is still running, which creates really cool uh, ice formations and whatnot. So leaving it on for the winter, you can see all this, see all the ice form on the waterfalls and whatnot, gives it a little different look. And then when the lights come on, it lights all the ice up and stuff, so it's pretty cool. The hole here, it's just for an oxygen release and gas. Anything that builds up underneath the ice here, any leaves or anything are stuck under there, and they decompose and rot, then they release gases, and those gases can actually kill the fish. So what the aerator does is it keeps oxygen exchange between the air and the water, and that allows for those gases to be released and the fish to stay healthy and happy, which are underneath the ice right now. Just hanging out at the bottom of the pond and uh, super all right with everything here. So we did turn off the little mini wetland up here for the winter. That doesn't need to run. There's a bit of water in that wetland so that just keeps everything nice and healthy in there. The other couple things I wanted to show you about running this thing through the winter is there are a couple things you got to keep an eye on. So one is you want to maintain that hole in the ice. Make sure that does not get iced over. And the second thing is if power does ever kick off or anything, you're gonna want to uh, make sure that you have access to your pump. So this is the skimmer box here. If you haven't seen one of these, this just houses the pump and then it pulls in the water. So everything, all the leaves and everything come in here. Usually there's a net in here. The net must have been removed, but it just makes it easy to scoop out leaves and whatnot. The net doesn't really have to be in there right now because there's not really any leaves falling on the pond, as you can see. So the other thing I wanted to show you here is that you can easily unscrew this. This is just a release for the pump. So if the power were ever to trip off, you are able to just unscrew that if the power is on off for extended amounts of time. This is your check valve here. So that just keeps water in the pipe, which runs out into the bio falls up there. Um, so you're just gonna want to unscrew that. Otherwise the ice will freeze in the pipe and it can blow a line, um, which you do not want to do. That makes it for a lot of work but so there's a couple things you've got to pay attention to for in the winter time but overall keeping these things running through the winter is definitely doable you get super cool ice formations you get to enjoy it throughout the winter and uh yeah hopefully that was just a little insight on keeping your water or waterfall or your pond running throughout the seasons and uh allows you to experience that as well enjoy your day